What's good guys, my name is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over some secret tips that I think you guys should know that'll help you edit your music videos two times faster. You might already know how to do this, but stick around, I might give you some tips that you don't know that'll still help you out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture. I'm dropping new videos every week. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you can be updated when I drop a video. Also follow me on Instagram to be updated when I drop some new preset packs. And guys, like the video and let's get into the tutorial. All right, awesome. So now we're in Premiere Pro. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull some footage in so I can show you what I'm talking about. I got this footage from Matt Alonzo and Cinepax. So I'll go ahead and drag that in there. I'll go ahead and grab this clip right here. Drag that right there. I'll go ahead and get this clip right here and I'll just drag that right here. So let's go ahead and start with our first tip. You might already know how to do this, but the first thing to do is sync our audio. So whenever you get done shooting a music video, you obviously want to have your audio synced up so you can edit it and everything is synced up with no issues. So to do that, all you gotta do is just highlight your clips, right click, and then we're gonna go ahead and find synchronize. And all you want to go ahead and do is just press the, on this audio tab, make sure it's highlighted blue and then you just press okay and then it'll sync up all your clips and all the vocals will be on time. So I know that's not really a secret, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one thing real quick. So for tip number two, as you get further into your edit, you might start chopping up your footage. You might not know which clip is which. So to combat that, Adobe Premiere Pro has this awesome tool called labeling, where you can just come over here, right click, and you can change the color of the label. So now we made that purple. And so now we know that this purple is associated with this purple um, audio file. And so we can do the same thing with this clip. Now we have a different blue label. So as you can see, these are all three different clips because we labeled them three different colors. I know a lot of you guys already know that, but right now I'm about to get into the third tip, which is the most important tip, which is cutting the clip to the beat. Obviously you wanna cut to the beat of your music video, but I have a secret tip that might help you guys out, which will help you get it done faster. So instead of just watching the clip all the way through and just cutting out the parts you don't want, so what you could do is you could apply this technique and then you'll be able to cut out the pieces of footage that you don't want with ease. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and obviously press play and listen to your music. But when you listen to it on the claps, the bumps and the 808 hits, you're gonna go ahead and press M to make a marker. You'll be able to cut your footage perfectly. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, I might not play the audio all the way through because I don't wanna get copyrighted, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and press play. And if you make an error, all you gotta do is just press Control Z a couple times, and we'll go ahead and back up our track. And then I'll go ahead and press play again and begin making the markers again. All right, so I made all my markers. So what I like to do is go ahead and highlight the V1, the V2, and V3, which is our video layer timelines. And we'll go ahead and go to our first marker. I'll go ahead and highlight the clip. And once you've highlighted your clip, all you gotta do is just press your shortcut key to cut, minus K so I can make a cut right here, and I went ahead and cut all the clips. But if you don't have a cut shortcut button, all you gotta do is come up to your Premiere Pro, then we'll go to keyboard shortcuts, and then all you wanna do is find add edit, and then apply it to wherever you want it. I use K, but you can use whatever you want. So all you gotta do now is just go to all your markers, just cut, cut, Cut. See, look how simple this is. All you gotta do is click on the marker and then it's cutting your clips super fast. All right, so I'm done cutting up the clips. And then what I'm gonna do is mute the music so I don't get a copyright strike. And what you go ahead and do is just watch your video, hide these so you only focus on the first one. And then obviously you'll just cut the parts that you don't want. Super simple and they're already gonna be on beat. So it's gonna be easy for you to edit your music videos. And this is definitely gonna help you speed up your editing time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really quick and I thought it was pretty insightful. You might've already known some of these tips, but if you didn't, go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys, I'm out, peace.